Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by today. I would just love to go over my recent Burberry repair. I have quite a long story with this purse and I was just really apprehensive to take it in because all the repair stories that I could find online were Louis Vuitton or Chanel, Dior. Um, you just don't really see any Burberry repairs. So it made me really, really nervous to take it in. You hear a lot of great stories about the other brands, but you also hear the horror stories where they have your bag for a very, very long extended period of time. And then they contact you and say, we can't fix it. We need to replace it, which is great if they still make the bag that you sent in for repair. However, my bag was from 2014. They no longer make this bag and I love it so much. I can't sell it. I just, I could never see myself parting with this bag. So I was really scared. It was my first ever high-end designer brand, um, just high-end designer purse in general. I had coach purses before, but nothing really compares until you get up into the really, really great designers where the bags are, you know, close to a thousand, over a thousand dollars. There's a reason why they cost that much. The quality is just great. So I'm just going to go over that with you guys today. Hopefully I'm able to help someone out who has a purse from Burberry that you would like to take in for repairs. I hope I can give you some peace of mind and help you out a bit. So we'll just get going. Um, I'm sorry in advance. I, this is, I lost track of how many attempts this is to film this. My cat has been back and forth helping me with this. So she's messed me up a couple times, of course, right near the end of filming. So everything's already out and I'll just go over it. So they, um, gave my purse back to me in this gigantic, gigantic, oh my goodness, Burberry bag. It's huge. And I have the ribbon in here. You put a ribbon on all of your bags when you buy something. So I have that. And then I could not find my original Burberry dust bag when I took my purse in. So I did ask them to please give me a new dust bag. They gave me a plain one. It doesn't say Burberry, nothing like that on it. It's just a plain kind of ugly brown but it, it will serve its purpose, so I'm not going to complain about it. Um, my receipt from my repair is in here. So anyway, I'll just start going over it. So it helps if I grab the bag. So just a little backstory on this bag. My fiance, he, besides buying me the necklace that I always wear, he never gets anyone like myself, his parents, his brother, he gets nobody gifts. He does not get Christmas gifts, he hasn't bought anniversary gifts, anything like that. He's a great guy, he just, he forgets to go buy people things. I always have to buy his family gifts when, when the holidays are approaching our birthday, which is fine. So, anyway, I used to love to give him a hard time about this. And we went up to a casino one day with his family, and him and I did rather well. And I'd been eyeballing this purse online for gosh, maybe a month and a half, two months. I knew I wanted to step up from coach. I wanted to go to the next level. It was between a Louis Vuitton or this particular Burberry bag. And I told him, you know, you haven't gotten me a birthday, Christmas anniversary gift for like the last four years. And if you just let me go and buy this purse that I really want, I will never bother you about it again. I will just drop it. And he said, you know what? You're right. Just go buy your bag. So we got home a couple days after depositing the money and I had put it in my cart online. Um, I get mailed to a PO box so I could not have it shipped to my home. There's a Burberry store right nearby so I said I'll just go into the store, pick it up. And I was literally, my feet were sweating, my hands were sweating, cold sweat, I was shaking. I had never spent this much on a bag before tax. I think it was, um, it's either $14.50 or $14.95. So it was really close to $1,500 and I was just so scared. I, I couldn't bring myself to press the buy button. So he ended up doing it for me. He's like, just buy your bag and comes up and clicks on it. So it's the most scary experience of my life for some reason. I feel like when you go from like bags that are like a hundred, two hundred dollars to spending, you know, like eight times that amount. It's just, it's scary. <laughs> so anyway, I picked this bag up, loved it. 
with all my coach purses, I was very rough. I always have to have my hair up for work. So I kept a, um, a hair clip on all of my coach purses on the crossbody straps on the handles. I did that with my Burberry bag. And there's a reason why, even though they're great quality, that Burberry is known for their scarves and for their trench coats instead of their purses. They're kind of newer into the purses, at least from what I've been told. And they're good quality, but they just, they aren't as durable as Vuitton. So I threw it around like I had my coach bags. It looked horrible. I really should have taken before pictures, but basically because I kept a hair clip on my crossbody strap, all of this up in here was completely scuffed. So I took it in on June 22nd and I said, I want all of this leather retouched in here. I don't want to be able to see that it's scuffed. I had a scratch right around here somewhere that you can no longer see. My cat had put some teeth marks into the rolled handles. They went over my rolled handles again. And I found one where you can kind of see um, just a little spot from a former tooth mark, but it's so small. I don't know if I'll be able to find it again. I can't, I can't even find it. They did such a great job. Went over everything. Um, the corners, all four of the corners down here were all scuffed up. And you can kind of see on one corner where they repaired it. I think it's this one. You can kind of see, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's a little bit of a, um, little bit of a mark right here where they repaired the bag. But overall, it, it looks just like it did when I purchased it brand new. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. They polished the zipper for me. Um, so basically, I took in this bag and I, I told the guy, I was like, this is my baby. I don't want to lose it. This is the chocolate brown. It may look black on camera, but it's chocolate brown. They don't make chocolate brown anymore. And I said, I don't want to lose the color. I want the color matched as perfectly as you can. Can they do that? I'm really scared. And he, you know, was looking over my bag and he goes, trust me, I've seen purses come in way worse than this that come back looking brand new. Yours will be fine. And I kind of thought maybe he's just trying to make me feel good. He was not lying. He was completely telling the truth. I cannot, I mean, seriously, this was the worst part of my bag was right up in here. You can't even tell. And then also, um, my crossbody strap was fraying. I had, um, threads coming off of the edges and they repaired that like you can't even see any threads it's like a completely new strap and in fact if it wasn't as soft as it is I would think it was a new strap but this was a little stiff when I originally purchased the bag years ago so I know that this is not new it's still just as soft as it was and I think they polished up the hardware for me it's it's just like it was when it was brand new and I'm so happy. I almost cried when I picked it up. I was so happy. It sounds ridiculous, but it's like I said, this purse is kind of my baby. It's first high end designer purse. I just, I can't ever see myself parting with it. And so basically I dropped it off on, I think it was Thursday, June 22nd. And when you take it in, you tell them everything you want fixed on it. They write up a work order. They send it to New York. They cannot give you a, a, um, a cost estimate in the store until the repair shop looks at it. And the nearest one to me was in New York. So they send it off to New York and I got a call on July 3rd and it takes from where I live, it takes them about a week to get it to New York and then a week to get it back. So they said, we estimate your bag will be back on July 20th. So four weeks out. I got a call July 3rd saying, hi, you know, this is, I think his name was Nathan from your Burberry store. I have a cost estimate from New York. He broke it down. He said to do this part of your bag, this part of your bag, and this part. Um, I don't remember how much everything was. I had written it down. It was way better than I was expecting. The total cost to repair it was $245. And then of course tax added to that. Um, but I was just like, compared to the original cost of the bag, that's nothing. I was so worried it was going to be more, especially with the leather they use. I mean, I don't know if you have a Burberry um, and a Louis Vuitton. This bag is quite heavy compared to 
my Louis Vuitton bags, even though it's smaller than my Neverfull, it's quite a heavy bag. It's got quite a bit of leather to it, which is wonderful, but, you know, I was thinking, oh my god, it's going to be horrible. It's going to be like $1,000 to repair. So, it was only $245, and they said, would you like to move forward with your repair? Would you like them to send it back? What would you like to do? And I said, just repair everything. That's not a whole lot. I'm so happy it's only that much. So they said, okay, we'll pass the word on to New York. New York repaired it, and I got an email on Wednesday, July 19th, um, late, later in the evening. I was already at home, and um, I didn't have plans to go out. So I got an email saying, your bag is back. Come pick it up at your convenience. Pay for your repairs then. So I went in the next morning on Thursday, July 20th exactly four weeks from when I dropped it off, so their four-week estimate was completely correct. And I picked up my bag, paid for it, and it's just, like I said, it's beautiful. I'm just, I'm so amazed. I mean, I, I literally cannot stop looking in here just because I know how bad it was before. The handles are so smooth now, there's no little bite marks from the cat, and it's just beautiful. It doesn't really smell like anything, I don't think they they did anything special to that, but it's a beautiful bag. So if you have a Burberry that needs to be repaired, do not worry. Just take it to the store. And four weeks sounds like a long time when you love your bag as much as I do, but trust me, it's worth it. I mean, I was not using this bag as much as I should because it was so damaged, and I knew it's not getting the love it deserves because of what I've done to it. It's only fair that I send it back to be repaired and I can start using it again, I can start loving it, I just have to be more careful with it than I was before. And I'm so happy I made that call to do that, and I look forward to having this bag in my collection for the rest of my life. Hopefully if I have children one day, pass it along to my daughter, granddaughter, you know, or, you know, if I only have boys, pass it to a daughter-in-law, something like that. So, I'm just, I can't get over it. I'm so thrilled. So, um, anyway, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I will try my best to answer them. Um, however, I'm by no means an expert in Burberry repairs. I suggest you just take your bag into the store and get an estimate and talk to someone there. Um, my particular store, they did have a... What, what is his official title? I think he's like the accessories and repair specialist guy who's there. He's kind of the one who writes up all the work orders, makes sure everything comes back okay. So um, that's just my advice and go for it. Do not fret. I feel like Burberry will take the best care of your bag that they can. This chocolate brown has been a discontinued color for at least a year and a half, maybe two years even, and they matched it perfectly. You cannot even tell that my bag has been repaired. So um, just let me know, like I said, if you have any questions and best of luck to you. I hope your bag is fixed perfectly. So have a great day. Thanks.